I spent a lot of time being like, oh, it's just gonna, it's gonna come to me. Like shit's just gonna mm. fall into my lap ish. Mm. Someone's gonna come and rescue me from this mm-hmm. bullshit. Mm. It, kind of to an extent. Mm-hmm. Like someone's gonna come and help me or whatever. Uh, whatever that is, however it is, a label or another artist or, or a manager, oh, yeah. whatever. Something's gonna come and like make this easier. And it's not. It's not gonna happen that way. Um, that will come, but it's not gonna happen. Like if I, you do have to fight pretty hard. You gotta churn. You gotta run, bro, hard. So. I was in a place where I started doing YouTube covers like, you know, 2010. So I've been doing it for, you know, over a decade now. And, you know, I I caught some traction and some other artists at the time were like referencing my channel that ended up blowing up pretty heavy. Um, I don't know if you know the artist Teddy Swims, right? I've heard of Teddy Swims. Yeah, he's incredible, bro. And I got nothing but love uh, because, we you know, we were were homies, you know, Mm -hmm. like he's hit me before when he first came out. But like. He, I, I'd do a cover and then like, you know, a couple months later, a weeks later, like he would do the cover or whatever. And like, we were just like, he said, so he like co-signed me. He's like, bro, I love your channel. My team loves your channel. So I started to see, I was like, all right, bro, this guy's, this guy's doing what I'm doing. Yeah. And he was getting a lot of love. Like mm-hmm. I was getting millions of hits. He was getting like 50 million hits on some shit. I was damn. like, damn, he's great. I'm not, there's no reason why he wouldn't. But you know, a part of me is just like, damn, like how is, why is that working out for him so much better that than that level? Me? Yeah. Um, but then at the same time, it's just like, I've inspired that and he's inspired me. This is, it's, there's no competition. I'm only here with me. So anyways, I, you know, I'm chilling, uh, the other day and I like run into him at a bar. We haven't ever officially like met in real life. Recently, and, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This okay. is like, this was like right. a couple, uh, a couple months ago. Yeah. And I like roll up and I'm like, yo, bro. And he's just like, Stan Taylor. And we just ended up talking the entire night going in, mm. just giving each other love or whatever. And, you know, I, but again, usually in my mind, I'm just like, I'm never going to be like, oh, it's so hard. You meet someone like that. It's just like, yo, like, let me go on tour with you. Like, help me. But at the same time, I was like, no, nah, I'm just going to be me with this homie. I'm not going to, I'm not asking for shit or whatever. You know, yeah. I, don't, I don't, that's not the way I want to mm. move this. If it works, that'll happen organically. Yes. And yeah, there's a, there's I, love, a, I love the way you said that. There's yeah. a fine line with that though. Cause some people are afraid or passive. They don't even want it. Like sometimes you got to be like, Hey dude, like I want to, you know, so it's a fine line. I think being yourself and mm-hmm. being, you know, taking initiative when it when it calls but when it, it'll call on you so i didn't do anything that night right yeah. just became homies yeah hit him i was like yo let's have a session one day or whatever we text back and forth never goes down and i'm like all right cool you know we'll, we'll cross paths again i'm not tripping so the other night last night two nights ago um i'm out and i'm chilling uh, at that exact same bar actually and he's not there but I, I end up talking to this dude at the at the bar and he's just mm-hmm. like He's like, what's your name? And I was like, oh, I'm Stan Taylor. He's like, oh, dude, I'm Teddy Swim's manager. And I was just like, oh, shit, bro. Mm. Like, I, he's like, I, you know, I just seen Teddy here a couple of days ago or whatever. And he was real cool. You know, actually give me a lot of advice. I was like, bro, like, because that was someone I feel like I could ask real questions to. I'm like, how the fuck did he crack so hard? Like, how, yeah. how, what, what is, what is he working with now? Like, and he's like, oh, he's like top priority. He's got this. this. And I was just like, how do I get a video with him, bro? Like, he, because Teddy was like, yo, bro, I'll do a video with you. Let's do it. But you know, he's not fully in control of his career as much anymore. He has now a team, that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah right. Mm-hmm. So the manager was like, honestly, yeah. bro, he's like, I'm not even in control of that. Like, he's with the label now. He's like, wow. you know, do the TikTok thing, blow up on TikTok, and then, and I just was just like, damn. And he's like, honestly, bro, he's like, he's playing, uh, you know, he's playing in Vegas um, Saturday night and I'm going to the Raiders game on Sunday. And I was like, bro, I'm going to be in Vegas, bro. Like, put me on the guest list. I'd love to come to the show. He's Perfect. like, oh, I'll get you on the guest list or whatever. Easy. So I was like, tight. I'm going to go to the show. So then I hit up Teddy and I'm like, oh, I ran into your manager. And again, and I went through a whole thing in my mind, like, how, how do I, what should I do? Should I just like show up? And I was like, no, I'm just going to hit up Teddy and be like, yo, dude, I met your boy. Uh, he put me on the list. I'm excited to see you play live. Not anything else, like yeah. nothing else. And then Teddy hits me and he's like, oh, bro, hell yeah. You want to get up on stage and sing some songs with me? And I'm just like, fuck yeah, bro. Fuck yes, I do. He's like, all right, sound check is at 3.30. So I'm going to fucking play with a couple songs with Teddy on Saturday in Vegas, bro. And I'm hyped, man, just because I manifested that shit. And I, I kind of stepped out of my own comfort zone and mm. like got exactly what the fuck I wanted. That's beautiful. Man. So it was like those moments. But you had that awkward. I mean, I think what people could relate to is that awkwardness that comes before. Should I? Should I? Ask, right? should I ask Everybody for help? can relate like, to that. Bro. Ask not, yeah. I think there's a yeah. phrase in the Bible or something. I might was be it? quoting like shit. But it's like ask not, have not, or something like that. You have or, to. Is this some like closed mouths don't get fat? Exactly. Type shit? Exactly. Right, that, okay. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And yeah. it's you know I I'm. I've always struggled with that because I was like, yeah. oh, it's going to make me look less than if I ask for help. Yeah. And it's just like, nah, man, if you work hard, you're just. And it's funny because I help anyone who asks me. I help anyone, mm. but I won't do it back. So I'm starting to learn that that's something that's. Dude, that makes dissect. all the sense in the world. I feel like, yeah, it's almost like, I don't know what, what I thought of when you said that was like, 
it's so easy to give like your best friend relationship advice like when they're going through something <laughs> but let it be you going through it like you have no idea what's going on exactly you can't... <laughs> exactly bro. Yeah, it's yeah. so much like that dude. Yeah. you just you take your own advice bro i'm so good at giving it bro but you it's hard but when you're in those moments, um, yeah. you know you don't you don't see things the same. And, yeah, the you know, the, clar- the level of clarity ain't, ain't there. And you know meditation yeah. and things like that help with that, bro. So you can, like you said today, bro, you just you can be more keen, bro, to everything. I you said this the awareness. other day, hundred hundred thousand percent. Like I said this the other day, when you meditate regularly, like the ROI on that shit is, it's almost like I I, I feel like you know that intuition and instinct that we all have like on our best days right we're like damn i just knew to yeah make this was content. bro literally when we started this interview i just had a feeling i was like no that shit sounds a little thin remember the microphone was backwards on this fucking interview oh yeah and it's like that was part hearing part intuition bro yeah because it was you were you hearing know? it through the headphones <laughs> I, right? I was like, I was like, like it was coming out of, i was like how the fuck is he hearing that i couldn't <laughs> even like, hear it from here when you meditate it keeps you sharp to like get a signal or something does that make sense mm-hmm. like i almost feel like think of us as like antennas and like shit's broadcasting to us yeah regularly. i really feel like that bro yes like how do i know to like send this email then or fucking mm-hmm. reach out to that person or go to this event then it's like exactly. man, come on bro there, there is dude you there's know something, there's something yeah. kind of guiding us is what i want to say mm-hmm. and it's like the more you invest in keeping that channel clear because i think as artists bro your channel Yes, bro. That's what they say. Like, the best things just kind of come through you. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, you know what I'm saying? bro. Yeah. Absolutely. And usually when you go into your head, the shit fucks up. It's That's trash. when the shit fucks it's up. It's trash. Bro. You're getting in the way of what... That, that is coming through you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely, bro.